share me, dig me, and by God, definitely don't tumble me. <laughs> don't put me in your circle. Don't paint me with square. Don't worry, I'm not a pro blogger. I'm just a stand up comic who plays one on the internet. Now, where's my book? <laughs> Blog World LA. This is the first year in LA. Did you like it in LA? Yeah. LA is the best place to hold Blog World, right? What better place to learn about traffic? <laughs> Come from the airport? Jesus Christ. Driving around at night, I got a rental car. Driving around LA is crazy. Driving 80 miles an hour in the left hand lane, I'm still getting tailgated. Look at my rear view mirror, the guy has handicap plates. <laughs> you kinda know why we got those. <laughs> Sets crap. <laughs> Trust me, it's gonna get worse. <laughs> I had the GPS in my car. No, the rental car has a GPS. I don't know where yours keeps on going. Mine keeps on going. Turn around when possible! Turn around when possible! Turn around! Like, what a bitch! <laughs> Sponsors? 
an update that doesn't break all my fucking plugins. <laughs>
Scott's in front. Yeah, Scott, where's Scott? Scott? There he is. All right, Golden Falls Support, uh, we're four families, so thank you so much for your support for Kenzie. Uh, our silver sponsor is .tv, .me, Southwest Airlines, Heineken, we all enjoyed some of that last night. Uh, Bronze sponsors, Vanilla Forums, uh, Stick Cam, providing live streaming, Technorati, Vidi, thank you guys. Uh, Century 21, Blogger, WordPress, Euphoric Vodka and Tequila, and uh, the, the track leaders and speakers that travel from all over the world to help all of us grow in this industry. Thank you so much. Let's give them a big hand. Back. 
She is an internet personality, actress, life caster, vlogger, designer, and popular YouTube content creator. She's the second most subscribed female comedian and personality on YouTube with almost two and a half million subscribers. She's got over a million Twitter followers on like Jordan and uh, 300 million views of her videos and a long, long list of other accomplishments. And Rick Fox, we have any Laker fans in the audience? That's why we came to LA. So, Rick is a three-time NBA champion with the Lakers. Um, he's also an actor, a producer, who's appeared in a number of films and television projects over the last 17 years. So we're very, very happy to have Mike with us, or Rick with us, excuse me. Uh, he's also teamed up with Michael Eisner, that's what I was reading there, you guys. And finally, I'm a big fan of this lady. I didn't want to gush over her too much in the back. Uh, she's super funny. Um, Aisha Tyler, she's a stand up comedian, actress, author, director. Um, she's also best known from shows like Talk Soup. I don't know how those guys get so many funny hosts. That is one of the funniest shows on television. Uh, Friends, 24. She currently voices sexy super spy Lana King on the FX animated hit show Archer, which I'm sure a lot of you are fans of. Her new show, Girl on Guy with Aisha Tyler, is a podcast about stuff guys love, which debuted in the top ten on iTunes in past July. She's already reached over a million downloads in just weeks after the launch. So please, welcome to the stage our guests. Thank you very much. Yeah. 
successfully a number of forms of media, right? You're doing a podcast, and which, by the way, having a million downloads, it's, a, it's, it's an amazing podcast, and you're spending time and energy to put into this. Yeah. Why? Why? I don't well, know why. <laughs> it doesn't pay. It doesn't know the shit doesn't pay. <laughs>
unguarded experience with an artist that they already love. So they're, they're seeing them, hearing them in a different way. And, um, you know, I've had people say, you know, I, like I just did an interview Quest Love and it was a two hour interview. And there were people who said, I didn't know anything about the roots. And then I went and bought all their music. And there were people that said, I thought I knew the roots, but I didn't until I listened to that interview. And th that, for me, Super girl one. I just get huge girl sniffing. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody can sense it. It's no so different than if you're, you're with your friend and you're, you're doing something that they know. 
know it's not normal for you to, to be doing it, it's going to raise red flags. So I think that's a, that's a great uh, point. So it's like TV shows might be in a cut with commercials, but it's not me sitting there saying, hey, I'm drinking a specific drink. You know, it's, it's a commercial that is paid for by specific advertisers to target that audience. And you know, the first people who are going to smell that stuff is, is this group, like this, this group here. They will, they will immediately detect it, and then guess, guess what they're writing about? They're writing about that sort of situation. So, you know, I think oh, it's people really on the internet being jaded and judgmental. No, 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 they don't. Yeah, they're, they're, they're always Never. aware. No, it's nothing but earnesty on the internet. No, they never post anonymous. Coca Cola. Yeah, I mean, I, I think that's one thing. Is the internet can tell you about yourself. Right? Oh, right. oh, right. oh, right. oh, right. oh, they will. Yeah. We're after the right first. Absolutely. Yeah, and that's another hard thing too. Is comments and you're like, I don't want to wake up tomorrow. But, you know, the thing is about those people that are writing those hate comments is if you write something nice back to them, you got yourself a new fan. Oh, yeah, of it's, course. It's pretty amazing. Yeah, yeah. And so speaking of, of nice things, we have uh, this, this fine gentleman down at the end here. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. I, I, I come from an entrepreneur background in that my dad is on the beach in the Bahamas. At a young age of 25, I think he decided that he should start the first ice factory in the Bahamas. Wow. So, you know, who, who would think that you'd have an ice so. factory in the Bahamas? Uh, but that's that's where I come from in, in my thinking with, with the internet, social media, the creation of content, uh, having a voice, uh, an expression that we all now are capable of having through through the, the change in media in general. And uh, so that's where I get excited. I get excited with that, uh, that opportunity for all of us. And it's it's also that bang on the door coming from one. Oh yeah, so wait, <laughs> hold on. So, let, so let, let, me, let me touch on this for a second. You know, we've seen you in uh, movies and, and on TV and certainly on court and all that stuff, okay? So again, here you go. You, you're saying you have an entrepreneurial spirit. First thing you're gonna do is, is do what you know. You're gonna go around inside of Hollywood or whatever the established business that you're used to working in and try to Push your ideas, yeah. right? And as Aisha was saying, it not isn't necessarily a fantastic experience to be told that you don't know what you're talking about by people who don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> especially, especially when you walk around looking like a basketball player. Oh well, yeah. Trying to trying to break into a, a very established uh, uh, entertainment business where many people go to school for it and make careers through through uh, school and through yeah. backgrounds and training. And I, I, I have an opportunity. Get on camera, in front of the camera, for many years through my uh, basketball playing days. Though that opened the door, uh, and as I fell in love with with uh, the industry and wanted to tell my own stories, you know, when you start knocking on those doors, you find that, it, that there is a, a level of, uh, of expectation that you may step into the world with, in that anything is possible because if you've accomplished, what I was fortunate enough to accomplish with all of support success, uh, of successful people behind me pushing me up the hill. Uh, I thought that that would be the same experience in, in, in Hollywood, and it hasn't always been that case, but I'd say the one thing that you, you rely on is the persistence. Persistence is the overriding uh, ingredient in that, in that it may not, uh, in that I'm sure the first time we was gotten under that, we had not followed. We had 200 after the first couple of weeks, whatever, but it grows to so it's, it's, the persistence. it's the persistence, it's the authenticity, having that what you show, having the authentic voice. It connects, and, and, and when it connects, man, it's like wildfire because everyone can, can see authenticity and feel it, and they want to support it. And so, you know, that's where I have stories and passion. I love storytelling, and I have stories I want to tell. And uh, unfortunately, uh, Hollywood hasn't connected to my story yet because it.